Michael Sikorsky is about to make history. Look in that corner. He is the seventh medical student to get an injection of a trial vaccine for COVID-19. One, two, three. I feel a sense of responsibility and obligation as a young, healthy adult who can participate in one of these early trials uh, to do so. Sikorsky and 360 others are in the first phase of vaccine trials run by nice. Pfizer Patients and its German partner, BioNTech. And you could do all of this from the outside. The company is simultaneously testing four vaccines using a newer method called mRNA. The vaccine introduces part of the virus's genetic code through RNA. The body treats it like a foreign protein, which generates an immune response. Pfizer's Mikhail Dolstein. And now the body is ready. It has memory. And once the real virus knocks on the door to infect us, we respond fast and intercept it. The challenge for Pfizer is to prolong the life of the antibodies in the cells. Many drug companies are racing to become the first to conquer the virus. U.S. firm Moderna, along with the National Institutes of Health, is using mRNA in trials that began last month. Inovio has already started its efforts using a DNA method. BioNTech Pfizer began its trials May 5th, while China's CanSino Biologics is ahead of the others, already on to its Phase 2 trials. The University of Oxford in England started trials last month, and Wuhan and Beijing researchers are using a traditional trial method injecting inactive viruses. The nation's leading infectious disease expert predicts the world will have an effective vaccine by October. And then the challenge will be to scale it up enough to be able to distribute it meaningfully. Meanwhile, participants like Sikorsky are monitored for vaccine safety. So every night at nine o'clock, I get a little buzz on my cell phone that reminds me about your safety diary. So I take out the thermometer that they gave me and I check my temperature. And then I fill out a series of questions, which include, uh, do you have any aches or pains? Do you have fevers? Is there swelling? If all goes well, a coronavirus vaccine is expected to be in circulation by the end of the year. An unprecedented rapid development for a vaccine. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.